book of Luke chapter 13 we're gonna look at a couple of verse a couple of scriptures a couple of passages of scriptures and uh, these are gonna be our anchor passages our text if you will for the whole weekend and we're gonna go again Luke 13 10 through 16 and we're gonna go to Isaiah 22 22 and Revelations 3 7 Luke 13 beginning with verse 10 if you have it say amen amen, amen. in the name of the Father the Son and of the Holy Spirit the Bible declares and he was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath day right and behold that there was a woman which had what had a spirit of infirmity how many years now I want you to follow the scriptures this is the first of many scriptures that you're going to see this weekend where a believer in God was padlocked a spirit of infirmity somebody say a devil a devil was this a medical condition mm. no the Bible is telling you what the root problem is not all sicknesses are medical some are but some are not in this case it was not medical there was a spirit of infirmity that she had for 18 years and she was bowed together and could in no wise lift up her life nothing was happening no progress no moving forward and when Jesus saw her thank God for Jesus seeing our condition he called her to him and said woman this is my desire because out of the abundance of the heart the mouth will speak so God is revealing his heart for the woman through his mouth thou art loose you notice he said loose that means she was bound she was bound and when you look at the word loose in the Greek it means not only bound it means not only tied down, but it also means locked up. Wow. Who was locking her up? Devil. The devil. He said it. He said unto her, woman, thou art loose from your padlock. Power. In what form was that padlock? Infirmity. You will see how many ways this padlock manifests in people's lives. And he laid his hands on her and immediately she was made straight. She was unlocked. Get ready to get up straight in life. I receive. Whatever has been bowed, whatever the devil has oppressed, you. you're about to straighten up in this service and in this weekend. I receive. Glory, glory. And what was the result? Why does Jesus want to unlock you and remove the padlock so that you may glorify God with wow. your life? Yes. yes. Glory. Look at verse 14. I feel something in this place already. I receive it. You push me, we'll, we'll forget about this teaching. We'll go into warfare now. And the ruler of the synagogue. Here, here comes those people that don't want you to be blessed. They get angry when God releases your, you and delivers you and heals you and blesses you. They get, get some folks upset. May your enemies cry this evening. I receive. Yes. The ruler of the synagogue. This is what religious folks. Hmm? Here we go. The Christians now. The religious folks. They're supposed to be rejoicing. Hmm? But not all that say unto me, Lord, Lord. Shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my father. Which is in heaven. The ruler of the synagogue answered with indignation they got upset because that Jesus had healed on their religious day can you imagine yeah? we will cast out devils on New Year's Eve yes Christmas Mother's Day Father's Day Easter I don't care what hide we're gonna and said unto the people there are six days in which man ought to work in them therefore come and be healed and not on <laughs> on the Sabbath day the Lord answered them and what did he say you hypocrite yes sir hmm? 
We got some folks like that in the body of Christ, you know. They claim to know God and love God. They smell like religion. They have to talk. They talk to talk. But they don't walk the walk. You hypocrite. Do not each one of you on the Sabbath lose his ox or his ass from the stall and lead him away to watering. Watch, 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 watch. And ought not this woman, follow me now, watch, being a daughter of Abraham. What does that mean? I believe that Abraham is the father of faith. Is that correct? Yes. And Abraham believed God. And it was accounted unto him as righteousness. So the Bible says that she was a daughter. In other words, not only did she believe in Abraham, but she also believed in the God. Wow. Of Abraham. <laughs> So now people say Christians cannot have a demon. If you believe in God, you cannot have a demon. Well, you have somebody there, right? To believe. She believes in God. She is called, she's qualified as a daughter of Abraham. That's right. Right. She believed in the God of Abraham. Somebody says something here. Satan also Believe. believes. Mm -hmm. And he what? Tremble. Trembles. A daughter of Abraham. That means... Not only she believed in the God of Israel, she was also in the synagogue on Sabbath days. Are you listening to me? She was yes. in church. She would go to church. She believed in what they were preaching. She believed in the God of that church. But the Bible says Satan had bound her nevertheless. So don't listen to this nonsense. A Christian cannot have a demon. Tell that person that tells you that your pastor said for them to come and get them right here and let me lay hands and we will prove it if he... <clears throat> you don't have to argue. Just prove it. We don't argue here. We prove it. Whom Satan had bound. How many years? Would she not be loosed? From her what? Her lockdown, her bondage. Huh? Her padlocking. Right? And when he had said these things, all his adversaries were ashamed. And all the people rejoiced for all the glorious things that were done by him. Go to Isaiah 22, 22 quickly. And the key of the house of David... What do you need to unlock a lock? Key. What do you need to unlock a padlock? A key. I'm coming now. And the key of the house of David. Do you people live in a house, in a par an apartment, in a dwelling place? That's my father. Do, do, does it have a door? Yes, sir. Does that door have a lock? Yes, sir. Do you need a key for the lock? Yes, my father. All right. So without the key, you can't get in? No. Is that right? Yes, sir. Is that right? Yes, sir. I believe when you own your place or you rent the place, you legally are given the key. If you don't have the right to that place, they will give you no key. Now the Bible says that the key of the house of David, the key of the house of David will be laid upon his shoulder. So he shall open with that key. Wow. Wow. And whatever padlock, he will open it. The key. Huh? You're already into my message as to how to open the padlock. Okay, no problem. He shall with that key, that key. He shall open whatever. Listen, if if it's going to open, that means it was shut before. Mm. That means it was locked down before. But he said that that key that is upon his shoulder, he will be able to take that key. And it doesn't matter what has been shut down, what has been locked down, what has been bound down, that key will open and no one will be able to shut up again. Hallelujah. Yes. That's why this ministry exists. We have a key. The key, his name is the key. Jesus. His blood mm. is the key. 
Am I talking to somebody? Hallelujah. Yes. Yeah. A lot of people. Oh. Oh, yes. And he shall shut. Huh? With the same key that opens. He can also lock back. Mm? The same key. And he shall shut. And no one shall what? No one shall what? Opa. Somebody said the key of the house of David. The key of the house of, the house of, David. of David. Now go to Revelation chapter 3, verse 7. And to the angel of the church where? Philadelphia. In Philadelphia. Write these things. Write. These things said he that is holy. holy. He that is holy. true. He that hath what? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Well, you saw that key in, in, in Isaiah 22, 22. Yeah. <laughs> How is it in Revelation? The same one that said in Isaiah 22, with this key, I can open and nobody can shut. I can shut and no one can open. He said, talk to the angel of that church. Wow. That the one that has the key of David. Yes. The one that opens and no man can shut. The one that shuts. And no man can open. I'm the one that is talking. Yes. The key that opens people's lives was raised from the dead. He said to Peter, Peter. Mm. Wow. Flesh and blood have not revealed these things to you. Yes, sir. But you received this revelation from my father from heaven and unto you I will give the keys papa what was he talking about the same key that he was put upon his shoulder by the father yes that key he said I transfer to the church now hallelujah oh. I receive it I give you the key to my house yes which is the house of David Jesus. and with that key whatever you loose whatever you bind is that the same as opening and shutting put your hands together for Jesus thank you Jesus now let me speak to you a little bit for the next few minutes on the mystery of the evil padlock and how to be delivered from it. Yes, Lord. The mystery of the evil padlock and how to be delivered. Ladies and gentlemen, if the Bible says that the key opens and no one can shut that means somebody's shutting something yes sir hmm? somebody is shutting something i want you to understand that the key is very important to a padlock is that correct yes sir now let me ask you a question how many of you have ever wondered about the promises of god but not seeing those promises manifesting in your life. Let me see your hand. Many, many, many. How many of you have ever asked yourself the question, if I am a child of God, how many of you are a child of God? And the word of God says that I shall see and taste that the Lord is good. Why aren't I tasting it? How many of you have ever asked yourself that question? Many, many, many of us. Though there, there are many, many, many different factors why we as Christians do not experience or have not experienced the promises. Somebody say th over 3,000 promises in the Bible. Three How many? 3, over 3,000. Though there are many different factors that is responsible for this, but have you considered something first? Have you considered what the Word of God has said? Look at what the Word of God says in Hosea. Though there's, again, there's many factors why people may not be experiencing, may not be tasting the goodness of God, even though it's for them. There's many, many factors. But have you considered Isaiah 4, verse 6? 
Many of you have quoted it. He said, my people are destroyed for what? Lack of knowledge. Watch. Don't stop there now. He says, but because you have rejected knowledge. See, we, we just stop at my people perish because of lack of knowledge. Wait, 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 wait. There's a reason why you're perishing. Number one, they're rejecting it. You say, prophet, how are we rejecting? Oh, don't get me started. Because thou has rejected knowledge. Now, that's, that's an act of will. That's a decision. That's a decision. He said, you have made a decision, a conscious decision to reject knowledge. And because of that, there are repercussions. What is it? I will reject you. Is that what it says? Is that what it says? I will reject you. Watch this. That thou shall be no priest to me. In other words, God cannot use you to represent him when you don't know nothing. You cannot give treasure to a fool. He will trample it underfoot. Yes, sir. The Bible says, cast not your pearls, lest they do what? We reject knowledge. Yes, sir. And when we reject knowledge, God said, I can't use you. I love you, but I can't use you. I cannot have you represent me because you're going to make a you're going to make a mess. And it's my name on the line. Because you have rejected knowledge, I cannot use you as my priest. Are you listening? Yes. This is why we have these programs. These programs are to teach and to prepare a people for the coming of the Lord. You have rejected knowledge, therefore I will reject you as my priest. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. And because you have rejected knowledge, not only will I reject you, I will also reject and forget your children. Look at your neighbor, neighbor. Neighbor. Say neighbor, ignorance, neighbor, ignorance is costly. Is costly. It said, neighbor, in fact, ignorance is deadly. Neighbor, in fact, ignorance is costly. In the demonic world, ignorance is not an excuse. Oh, but I didn't know that prophet. Satan doesn't care. You think a demon is going to say, oh, I'm not going to enter you because you don't know. You don't know anything. So, uh, okay, I, I won't enter you. I won't beat you. I won't kill you. Hmm? <laughs> In the demonic realm, ignorance is no excuse. In the demonic realm, lack of knowledge has a great price. Yes, sir. So in the demonic world, lack of knowledge has no defense. Can you defend lack of knowledge in the demonic world? Or Satan, uh, I didn't know, so have mercy on me. Mm -mm. Hmm? <laughs> Will he have mercy on you? No. No. The Bible says in Isaiah 54, 17, asking, I'm asking the question, why would God, why would the Spirit of God speak through the prophet saying this in Isaiah 54, 17? And we all quote it. No weapons that is formed. Come on, come on. Read it, read it. No weapons. What? Formed against you. Go ahead, God. read it. Every tongue arises up against you and uh -huh. you shall condemn. Uh-huh. So now it says no weapon. So that means there's some weapons. And this weapon, he said, they're coming after you. Do you know that Satan's biggest technique and 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 strategy against humanity is the ignorance of his existence? Satan does not want people to know him or about his kingdom. Because the more you know about him, the more of a weapon you can, can become against him. Yes. That's why the Bible says the weapons of our warfare mm. are not carnal. Yes. But they are mighty through God to do what? The pulling, pulling down, down of strongholds. So why would God speak about having weapons? If there is no war. Now he says no weapons formed against you shall prosper. 
So number one, understand that there are weapons that are going to be fashioned against you. I don't care how much you speak in tongues. I don't care if you come from your mother being a prophetess and your father is a bishop. I don't care. Eh? He says no weapon formed against you shall what? Prosper. Right. And you notice he says every tongue that shall rise against you in judgment, you shall return to sender. That means they will release things with their mouth. No weapon that is formed against you. Somebody say no weapon. No weapon. Somebody say no weapon. No weapon. So there are weapons that the enemy will put together, right? To use against us. Is that correct? Is that what is implying here? Yes, sir. Is that correct? Yeah. All right. The Spirit of the Lord said no weapon. Somebody, somebody say no weapon. No, no weapon. weapon. Say it again, no weapon. No weapon. The word weapon here, somebody say weapon. No weapon. Let me tell you what it means in the Greek. Uh, sorry, in, in the Hebrew. Okay? Weapon here is the word kaili. Somebody say kaili. Don't worry. You don't, understand. you don't need to know how to spell it. Just say kaili. Yeah. What, what, what is it? It's, it's, it's a weapon is something prepared. So now it implies that somebody is taking the time to prepare it. Weapon... It's, it's an upper, any apparatus, a utensil, a vessel that can be used as a weapon. Weapon here is, 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 is like an armor used for protection in warfare as well. Weapon here in the Hebrew, it means artillery used to battle another. No artillery used against you. Is what he's saying. Wow. What does it mean? Weapon means bag that carries elements for the fight. It means any instrument used in battle. It, it means, watch this. It literally means a part used to fight another. Wow. How many of you remember the clay pot? Kylie means part that is used to fight you. No weapons, in other words, no pot, no cauldron used against you, right? It means any tool that they can fashion into a weapon. Any tool, somebody say any tool. Any tool. tool. It, it, it means also an implement used for hunting people or animals. So when he said no weapons form, in other words, what he's saying is, any apparatus, any implement that you're using to hunt you down should not prosper. It, it means, it means any implement or equipment that uses music to set the mood for war. Wow. The Thank church you. have yet to learn how to use music for war. Yes, sir. But they know how to use it. The, the drum, the... and there's so many in your souls. The word weapon here, Kyla, it also means a, a, an element used as a yoke to tie down accents. Huh? He also, it means a receptacle used to contain what a person, an animal, or a thing. A receptacle. That's when it, that's only the word, the word uh, weapon. Somebody say weapon. weapon. But he says, no weapon formed. Somebody say formed. Form. Now the word form is the word yazar. Somebody say yazar. yazar. Somebody say, say, say it again, yazar. yazar. What does the word form mean? It means to squeeze something into a desired shape like a potter. It, it means uh, to form something and determine it to become what you want it to be. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yes. Ah, they use elements and they fashion it to what they want it to be against you. Yes, my father. It, it, it means to, to frame something physically or spiritually. When he says form, it is to frame something physically or spiritually. It, it, it means to, to transform uh, uh, your desired purpose into a desired outcome 
It means to, to form something through divine, watch this, divine activity like God made creation. Yes, sir. Go deeper, my father. Wow. So that means there will be people forming things using the principle that God used to create. Yes. The spoken word. Form also means, somebody say form. Yeah, it, it means to, to, to plan and act. To plan and act a spiritual activity for a spiritual purpose. Right? So, so there are things. Somebody say there are things. There are things. Yes. Yeah, operated spiritually that can be used as a weapon to protect or attack. There are things, my friends, my people, brothers and sisters, do not be ignorant. Do not be deceived. I don't care who's telling you otherwise. Please do not be deceived. I'm telling you. That's how it is now. Satan will love for you not to know anything. And the level of your ignorance will increase the level of his effectiveness against you. But today, you shall fight back. Yes. Hallelujah. You shall fight back. Yes. I say you shall fight back. Yes. Enough is enough. Yes. I declare over everybody. I receive. The spirit of no retreat, no surrender is coming upon you. I receive. The spirit of no retreat, no surrender is coming upon you. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Clap your hands and give somebody a high five if you believe it. Come on. Yeah. This is why. Huh? Watch, watch, watch. Watch. This is why so many people fast. How many of you fast before? Yes, sir. Yeah, so many people fast. They pray. They hold all night prayers, all night vigils, and with no or little results. Because your prayer, untargeted, just because you're praying, that doesn't mean you're hitting anything. No, no, no. If you don't know the tools of your craft, if you don't know the tools of your craft, you will not be able to achieve much in your craft that God has sent you to do. Yes. Wow. If you don't know the tools of your craft, forget it. There are weapons being used against God's people, my friends. And the people are ignorant about these weapons. But today is your last day yes. of being ignorant. I receive. I said today... You will come out of the university of ignorance. Yes. yes. Today you will not graduate from that hospital. I mean from that university. You will come out of the university of lack of knowledge and ignorance. Somebody say yes. 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 They use weapons. One of those weapons, my brothers and sisters, is called a padlock. Somebody say padlock. What is a padlock? Let me give you just a physical, natural definition just to, 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 to talk, talk to you. Now, padlocks, my friends, in the natural now, they, they are either used to prevent, right? They're used to prevent an unauthorized person from un, unlawfully and unofficially having access to an area, a building, or an item inside a box that is locked. A padlock in the physical is also different than a lock. It is called padlock, not lock. Yes, sir. What you, what you say, what was the, what's the difference? Uh, thank you. I'll, I'll explain it. A padlock is a form of a lock that is not stationary. It needs uh, uh, hinges, it needs a chain, and it needs other exterior things in order to hold it. That's the padlock, right? You, you, need, you need a chain, you need, you need uh, uh, hinges, and different things to, to be able to, 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 for you to use that padlock to lock things down. Where a lock is a fixed content that is inside the frame of the door. Padlock is different than a lock. So in the physical, 
So what? Spiritual. In the natural. Yeah. In the spiritual. Some natural potlucks. Even in the natural. In my, in my bag. Bring my, inside the bag. There's, there's a potluck. My potluck. Not all potlucks are the same. This one have ridges. You see that? There's some potlucks that are called protective security padlocks what that means is is that the material those padlocks are made with are stronger than these these you can cut these you can pick easy these you can cut easy those that i'm talking about because they have seven layers of metal in the body of it you cannot cut it in fact it's so difficult to even pick it that even an experience a locksmith may not be able to pick it and if he can he takes him hours why am i saying that because not all padlocks even in the physical are the same therefore not all padlocks in the spiritual are also the same and i'm going to teach that in just a moment all right now now like in the natural somebody say like in the natural like in the natural right like in the natural there are people that use spiritual padlock to lock things and people in like in the natural so what in the spiritual there's some things i want you to understand about the spiritual or evil padlocks number one Anything that exists in the natural can be formed in the spiritual. Understand that tonight. I don't care what it is. Anything you can think of that is in the physical world, they can reverse it and use it in the spiritual. But I have good news. So can you. Yes, Lord. In fact, they, they got it from our kingdom. They got that knowledge from Satan. And Satan got it from our kingdom. But now he uses it for destruction. But you can do the same thing in the opposite. Yes. You can destroy those that want to destroy you. And you can attack those that want to attack you. Yes, Lord. You see, I'm here to teach you. Whatever they can use, you can use it more. Amen. Thank you, and they can use padlock or you can open it. Yes. And don't you know that the, Jesus said, whatever I open is open. Yes. And whatever I lack is lack. Look, look, look. Whatever they lack, you can open it. And then you can attack and shut them. And whatever you shut in their house, in their life, they cannot open it. Wow. Yes, My, uh, only the witches do that. Now, now, anything that exists in the natural can be formed and operated in the spiritual, good or bad. All right? Yeah. Understand that. Number two, evil padlocks are real. Is this physically real? Yes, sir. So what makes you think that only your world can come up with a lock? Think about it. Evil padlocks are what? They're real. Say, neighbor. Neighbor. Don't you forget. Don't you forget. Spiritual padlocks. Spiritual padlocks. Are real. Are real. Right? Just like, listen, just like, like an altar. Somebody say altar. Altar. Somebody say mirror. Mirror. Uh, somebody say clay pot. Clay pot. Somebody say cauldron. Cauldron. Right? Just like those things, padlocks in the spirit are frequently used by the agents of darkness in their operation against you. Just like, oh, we believe in, 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 in candles and we believe in, in altars, evil altars, and we believe in, in beads. Oh, they have that. But listen, listen, just like those things that you know about, they also have other weapons such as evil luck that they use against people, against us. But as I said, you're going to return fire. Evil padlock have ruined many people's lives, even to the point of death. Evil padlock, my friends, are one of the weapons that is most frequently and most effectively used in the kingdom 
of darkness. Unlike curses and other things I want you to understand about evil padlock, unlike curses, evil padlock do not have an expiration date. You have to open it. Yes, sir. A curse has an expiration date. Evil padlocks are the most freak or one of the most frequent elements that they use in the occult kingdoms. It is one of the most effective weapons that they have. And the reason why they use it so much is because it works. It works. They also, as I mentioned, lock when they lock a person down. When they lock a person's life, blessings, future, purpose, destiny, whatever it may be. Unless the lock is opened by a higher power, that lock will remain locked perpetually. Yes, sir. It has no expiration date. A curse has an expiration date. And a curse has to be renewed every so often. Unlike the curse, once a padlock is locked spiritually, some people have lived locked down all of their lives. 40 years, 50 years, 60 years, 75, 80 years. Because it has no expiration date. Now, I showed you one of the first stories in Luke chapter 13. There was a woman, she was padlocked for how many years? Huh? How many? 18, 18 years. And only the key of David was able to open. Yes, sir. Is that right? Is that right? Yes, sir. 18 years. The woman was locked. Right? Uh, the, the, the spiritual padlock. They, they've been used to lock people's blessings. The, the, the spiritual padlock, they have been used to lock a woman's womb where they cannot become pregnant. Spiritual padlock, they are used to lock up people's finances. They are used to lock up people's marriages. Spiritual padlocks, my friends. They use them to lock up people's educational achievements. Are you following me? They use them to lock up people's career. They use them to lock up people's job opportunities and promotion. They use evil padlock to, to lock up churches and ministries from moving forward financially and growing. And so forth. They use it to lock up people's divine helpers from ever coming to them. They use evil padlock to lock people's destinies and purposes. They use them to lock up a person's progress in life. They use them to lock up people's businesses. And they go from failure to failure and failure and failure in business. They use them to lock up ch children and people's minds. You know, some of these children, oh, I better be careful because some of you will get sensitive on me here. Don't you know that a lot of the children, not all, but a lot of the children that have mental disadvantages were not born that way? Huh? And all of a sudden, when they turn one, when they turn two, or whatever it is, what? Huh? It is called padlocking the child's brain. Mm. In the padlocking, what they use is the element of exchange of brains. They will take the child's good brain spiritually, and they transfer it to another child's bad brain, and then put the child's bad brain into the child's good brain it is called brain exchange they lack people's brains not everybody that is in the psych ward is there because of a medical problem am i correct yes, sir. am i correct yes. some are 
But I'm here to tell you that most are not. Let me qualify my statement. Some are, but most are not. What happened? Their brains have been padlocked. Somehow, somewhere, by somebody. But whoever has tried to padlock your brain, they will padlock their children's brain. Oh yes! Whoever has tried to padlock your memory, they will catch a demonic Alzheimer's themselves. Yes! Whoever wanted to attack your memory, and they want you to be forgetfulness as of today i speak heavenly alzheimer's upon them yes. upon their children yeah. upon their wife yes. upon their daughters yes. upon their dog yes. anything belonging to them let them catch a holy ghost alzheimer's in the name of jesus hallelujah the demonic padlock ladies and gentlemen they use it to lock up people's victories in life they use it to lock up people's greatness Am I talking to somebody? Yes, sir. They operated these things in the spirit very effectively. Now, how do they operate it? How do they operate it? How many of you want to know? You want to know, sir. How do they operate the potlatch in the spirit? And number one, they use a physical object. This is physical. Is that correct? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. This is physical. They use a physical object to represent something. To represent either a person, a place, or a thing in the spirit. And they now, what they want to do, let's say if they want to lock up your finances. Right? So they, they now take a bill, a dollar bill, a $20, whatever it is. They write your name on it. They take a physical object. My people perish because they're smart. Because they're intelligent. Uh -huh. They take the currency. Give me a piece of paper, somebody. They'll write the person's name. Okay. They put the name. They take a physical object. Hmm? This is what they do. Now, the second thing they do is that they begin to pronounce incantations. Remember the word weapons or form. It means to, to push your desire into a, a purpose that you want the outcome for. So now they take your name. And now they begin to pronounce incantations ladies and gentlemen where did they get the incantation from they got it from your kingdom we call it declarations and decrees the bible says you shall decree a thing and it shall what Be what do you think they, they are using what do you think they're doing they're perverting they know that more than us they will begin to pronounce against your finances incantations let the finances of this person become dry as the Gobi desert let the finances of this person begin to disappear out of their hands let the finances of this person begin to find that person their enemy and they continue to release incantation. I'm teaching you how to do it for you. Yes, sir. In the opposite. I shall never be poor in life. You know why? Hmm? You know, I learned this a long time ago. Eh? Lack my money? Who? When? Eh? When I didn't know nothing, you did it. But now... I'm unlocking everything, even if it's not mine, I'm unlocking it. Power.
The demon said, the demon said, but that's not yours. I said, I don't care. Who, who is it? He said, but it's hers. I said, I like it. <laughs> Put your hands together for Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And they release incantation. Now, 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 ladies and gentlemen, the third thing that happens when they release the incantation is that they are working with a spirit or spirits to carry out their bidding. But what about you? You also have spirits yeah. called angels. Yeah. Show Psalms 103 verse 20 please. Psalms 103. See they borrowed it from you. And now they're using it to benefit them. And we're not using it because. Because why? Lack of knowledge. Look at Psalms 103 verse 20. Bless the Lord. Ye his who? That excel in what? You know the word excel is beyond strength. That do his, who is he, his here? Who are they talking about? God. God. Right, Jesus Christ. They do his commandments. Hearkening unto the voice of his. Is that correct? Is that correct? Where I'm coming, I'm coming. Verse 21, bless ye the Lord, all ye his hosts, ye ministers of his. What's the word here? Minister. Doesn't Hebrew chapter 1 verse 14 say that the angels are spirit, that they are sent to minister for them that are heirs of salvation. You will begin to use your angel this weekend. Bless the Lord. All his works in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord. All my what? Soul. So now, angels, they carry out the spoken decrees of God. Is that what he said? Yes, sir. Hmm? Now, they understand the principle that every word in the spirit in order for it to be executed they need a spiritual entity to bring it out to carry it out so now they begin to decree incantations against this person now the person the witch or the wizard they are working with demon power that as they make the incantation guess what they do they go out to fulfill it. That's why the Bible says we don't wrestle against flesh and blood. Because it's not the juju that is coming to your house. It's the spirit that he's sending by his command, by his incantation. As you see. And now it takes your finances down. Why? Because the spirit will begin to execute the words of that witch or that wizard. If that wizard or that witch is said, let their money dry up. Guess what that demon is going to do? So you see, watch, watch. Now, they have the key eh? with which they locked that person's finances guess what they do with the key and guess what they do with a lock how many of you want to know yes sir son sons come in come on take one each open it open it open it put it through the paper Take the key they can put multiple locks on one thing and you can pray and do what I'm going to teach you. And if you only do a one, it may only unlock one. But there's the other ones. And you say, but why is it not working? Prophet is false prophet. How is it not working? <laughs> because they have 19 on, on your thing. And you only targeted one. There's people! This is their lives. More, even more than this. Even more than that.
they take your pictures put your name across put the locks clack 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 and release the incantation they take your money as i mentioned write your name on it clack 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 and release the incantation they also take your 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 birth certificate they take your wedding uh, certificate they take your 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 high school or your college diploma and clack 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 you will graduate with a phd and months and years will go by you will never get a job and you have a phd we have those cases in these ministries before and when the lord delivered them and the locks were open they became not just getting a job they became business owners they became ceos cfos are you listening yes. thank you jesus Ladies and gentlemen, leave, leave those there. They put multiple locks into these things. They, 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 now, they begin to release the incantation. They begin to, to release the spirits to, and tell them to go and carry it out. They obtain pictures. They obtain nails and, and your hairs and and clothing and 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 your blood and 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 all sorts of things that represents you and, and and they begin to do things like that as i said they 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 they, they decide how many padlocks they want to put they also as i mentioned they call the spirits and they tell the spirits to go and carry it out according to one uh, psalms 103 verse 20. are you listening all right and ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you something. That when they do this, when they do this, they just don't leave it in plain sight. The key and the lock, they separate. You can find the lock, but if you don't find the key, oh. What do they take it? Let me give you just a couple, a couple of um, places that they take it to and what they do with them after they operate it. Number one, they take it, and this is in no specific order. They can bury it under the ground. The lock in Africa and the key in Australia spiritually speaking huh? they bury it where in the ground you say where is that in the Bible Joshua chapter 7 beginning with verse 10 watch what happens with Achan beginning with verse 10 and the Lord said unto Joshua get thee up wherefore liest thou thus upon thy face Israel had sinned and they had also transgressed my covenant, which I commanded them. For they have even taken of the accursed thing, and have also stolen, and dissembled also, and they have put it even among their own stuff. Therefore the children of Israel could not stand before their enemies. Remember that. They got defeated. Right? They couldn't stand before the enemies, but turned their backs before the enemies because they were what? Accursed. Neither will I be with you anymore except you destroy the accursed from among you. Up, sanctify the people and say, sanctify yourselves against tomorrow. For thus saith the Lord God of Israel, there is an accursed thing in the midst of thee, O Israel. Thou cannot stand before thy enemies until you take away the what? In other words, you can never rise up and have victory until that thing is taken out. Now, where was it? Look at verse 20 in verse 21. What did Achan put it? What did Achan put it? He says it right there. Verse 20 says, And Achan answered Joshua and said, Indeed, I have sinned against the Lord God of Israel. And thus and thus have I done when I saw among the spoils a goodly Babylonish garment and 200 shekels of silver and a wedge of gold of 50 shekels. 
wait. Then I coveted them and I took them and watch this. And behold, they are hid in the where? In the earth. Wow. They bur he buried it in the earth. And what happened? That accursed thing. This is an accursed thing. And as long as it was not found, only God, who has all seeing eyes, yes, Lord. knew where it was. Thank you, Jesus. They can bury it in, 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 in China. They can bury it in Russia, Siberia. They can bury it in Antarctica. Our God has all seeing eyes. Yes. Where can we go from his presence? Where can demons hide from his presence? If they go to Antarctica, God sees them. Yes. If the witch go to Russia, God sees them. Mm. If the wizard go to Australia, God sees them. Yes. Where can they go from his presence? Wow. Usa. No one knew that the accursed thing was buried. And because it was inside the ground, a curse, defeat. You see the concept? You see the principle? Put your hands together for Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So they can bury it inside the earth. Number two, they can send it and bury it. Watch this, because I know you're Americans. Everything needs to make human sense. They can bury it in the skies and the planets. Yes, sir. Oh, you don't know. You say, where is that in the Bible? Thank you for asking. Exodus chapter 9, verse 33. Look at the concept. This is a concept. This is the principle. Watch. In Exodus 9, 33. Look at what? Look, 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 look. And Moses went out of the city from Pharaoh and spread abroad his hands unto the Lord. Right? Is that correct? Hmm? Unto the Lord. And what happened? And the thunders and hell ceased. And the rain was not poured upon the earth. In other words, he connected. He connected with the heavenlies. He was able to mobilize. Oh, yes. Don't, doesn't Satan imitate everything we do? Everything God does? What do you think they do? They also mobilize the planets. They also draw powers from the heavenlies. Psalms 121 verse 6. 121 verse 6. Watch. They mobilize the planets and the elements against you. Moses was able to mobilize the planets. Eh? And thunder and hail and all that came down. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Now, now look at what the Psalms 121.6 says. The sun shall not what? Uh, underline the word smite. Underline the word smite now. The sun shall not smite thee by day. No, the moon what? By night. Underline the word smite. What does it mean? It means the word here is naka. What does it mean? It means to strike you severely. It means to slap you upside the head. That's what the word means. He also means to punish a beat down to give you a fatal wound. Ay, 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 ay. Why is God saying the sun shall not smite you? Because they're using the sun to come down on you. Yes, sir. They're mobilizing the planets to fight you. It, it, it means, it means to kill. Smite means to kill, to murder, and to slaughter a great slaughter of somebody. It means to scourge somebody. It means to attack them and destroy them. The word na, 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 dark. Smite. Na, 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 sorry. Smite. It means to attack. The sun will not attack you and destroy you. The sun will not slap you. The sun will not strike you severely. The sun will not beat you down. Why? Because there's powers calling upon these planets to fight you. I, I know, I know I'm in America. I know. I know. But see, in Africa, we don't, we, we don't, we don't struggle with this thing. We don't. 
we don't struggle in Africa this is until you leave the elemental things of the Bible and go into perfection you will never understand the deep secrets yes sir the sun shall not beat you down eh? the sun fighting me the moon fighting me God said I'm gonna do something so that they won't fight you yes sir. Because yes there's some powers activating them to fight you but God said I'm gonna put a check on them yes they will not be able to fight you it will return back to sender yes, yes. Huh? It, it means to to conquer smite means to conquer somebody say naka it, it means to conquer now naka also means it means to subjugate into slavery in other words god is saying i will not allow those powers that are drawing powers from the heavenlies to bring you into a state of slavery yes somebody say naka it, it, it means to to ravage to ra smite means to ravage you it means to chastise you it means to send your judgment upon you watch this it means to give you a big blow mm. the word smite naka also means to be captured like prey mm. why is God saying I'm not gonna let that happen because as I said so many times People know in the powers, by the powers of darkness, how to mobilize uh, these things. Why? Because there are demon principalities and powers and thrones and dominion inside them. How many states comprises the United States? 50. 50. Is there 50 United States? Are there 50? Some of you are thinking. You, 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 you failed geography. Okay, how many states comprises the U.S.? 50. There are not 50 U.S.s. There, there's one U.S., 50 states. states. Right? Satan has one kingdom. Divided into, if you want to call it, states. Help yourself. Divided into four states. I call it four divisions. Four. But one kingdom. Is that? Number one is the kingdom of the air the second heaven the second heaven how many heavens are there three the first is the one you see the skies the second one is the Milky Way the planets and the third one is got a boat is that correct yes, sir. Uh -huh. now Satan came from the third is that correct Yes, sir. Now the Bible says in Revelation chapter 12 The angel said Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth And of the sea For Satan has come down to you with great wrath So to go from the third to the first You have to go through the second order You say where is that? Daniel chapter 10 Daniel chapter 10 You see a kingdom there In the second heaven The king of Tyre A demon power was withstanding another angel of God that was coming to bring a message to, to Daniel. That demon was higher in the spirit than that angel. That, that so and so, Michael had to come to rescue this guy. That's true, sir. So can principalities outrank certain angels? Uh, yes. So the first division is the second heaven. That's where you have the planets. There's demonic traffic there. And you see that in Daniel chapter 10. The second one is found in, in Revelation chapter 12. He says, woe unto the inhabitants of the earth. That's number two. And of the sea. That's number three. And the last one is the one you call the kingdom of fire. We call it hell. How many? Four. Four division of Satan's kingdom. Now, ladies and gentlemen, they take these padlocks and the key and they can bury them in the planets. You will never find them unless you get revelation from the Holy Ghost. Hmm? I remember one day in Yonkers, 
We were having a deliverance, mass deliverance service. And demons were flying everywhere. I mean, they were talking all over. And one demon started talking. And I said, who are you? He said, I am the eighth principality of Satan. We have the video, I think. I am number eight. I said, huh? Hey. I said, ah, you number eight? He said, yes. I said, so come out. He said, hey. he started laughing. He said, you cannot just cast me out. My rank, I'm number eight in the hierarchy. And people were yelling out. Everybody was yelling, come out, out. My throat would, 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 would out, nothing. <laughs> out, out. I was getting a headache, out, out nothing. <laughs> All the people, out, out, nothing. I disengaged because I learned it from my spiritual father. And I prayed. I said, Lord, everybody was going, come out, out, out. So I, I, I just disengaged. And I connected with my father. I said, Lord, how are we going to deal with this one? The Lord gave me revelation. When I engaged back, and I won't tell you, you go watch the video. It's there. When I engaged with that revelation and that tactic, he looked at me as if, uh-oh. Uh-oh. And we went to war. And you can see it in the video. You can see us. You will see us physically fighting with weapons and swords and shields and all that. But what people don't understand is that we had them. He had them, I had them. Yes, sir. And then I commanded him, put down your weapons. And he got upset. No! Make a long story short. The angels was helping us. He put down his weapon. The demon has said, we have taken his certificate, his diploma or achievement or something. He couldn't get a job if you handed it to him in a paper bag. No job, nothing. I said, who has his diploma? He said, we took it. And we buried it. We locked it down. I said, where? You ready? He said, we buried it in Morocco. I said, go get it. He said, I cannot just enter Morocco, that region. There's a principality that I cannot just enter the region. He said, but if you send me, your authority is bigger than his. I said, oh, yeah. <laughs> I said, go. Now, now, now I'm talking loud, right? Because, right? Because now, <laughs> said, go. Bring it back. Just a few minutes ago, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Bring it back. Listen, within a matter of not even seconds, he said, I got it. I said, lay it down. He laid it down. Make a long story short. By the power of Jesus' name, he got delivered. When he came out of it, God opened his eyes to see his diploma standing by the side of the auditorium. And he went after it. He said, yes, my diploma. He took it. Spiritually now, he took it. But God opened his eyes. And he held it. He went home. I got a call from his pastor, a friend of mine, two weeks later. He was working. He was a nurse. Couldn't get a job. Wow. And two days, uh, two weeks later, he was up working. Put your hands together for Jesus. Jesus, thank you. They will put it in certain places. They put it in the planets. 
they can also cast it into the sea and the ocean. Hmm? They can put it inside trees. Now this, this, and tomorrow we'll touch a little, a little bit on it. I'm, I'm just going to touch a little. They, they can put it inside trees. They can put it inside caves. They can put it uh, inside, watch this, inside animals. Tomorrow we'll go into the scriptures and we'll show you every scripture where all those principles and concepts as to where they put it, as I mentioned, is there in the Bible. Is there. Are you ready for tomorrow? Thank you, Jesus. Are you ready for tomorrow? Lift up your hands to heaven. Lift up your hands to heaven. All right. It, it, again, all of these things is to, to, for us to understand that even the Bible speaks about the drawing powers from the heavenlies. The sun will not smite you. The moon will not smite you. And I mention all those definitions as, as, as far as the word is, it means in smite. It, it means also, just a couple of, it means to, to plant disease. Huh? It means to, to, to plant disease into people's lives. They cast it into rivers. I'll go into scriptures tomorrow. They cast it into inside trees. I'll go into scriptures tomorrow. They cast it inside temples into occultic altars into animals and this is all in the bible and tomorrow we're going to go into the result we're going to talk about the result of when you're padlocked and lastly what you've been waiting for how Thank to you, lose Jesus. yourself lift up your hands to heaven Ed Citronelli Ministry, touching people, touching nations, and touching the world for the glory of Jesus Christ.